What's going on guys welcome back to another video and today we're going to be reviewing the hybrid racing v3 shifter for the rsx platform i can't wait to get my hands on it because um, i already have the v2 shifter so i can't wait to put them side by side and see all the updates that the v3 does have so um, let's check it out let's crack it open and see what it's all about now as always hybrid racing does a pretty good job at wrapping all their products and of course, it comes in with its own uh, business card right there. Shifter arm that comes separate from the unit. We also have an awesome sticker that they included as well. Quite an update from the V2 shifter. At first glance, the unit seems a little bit more compact. Uh, it has a lower center of gravity in the bottom, so that should help it quite a bit. And we have a brand new um, shifter arm with new bearings. This opened up this package, which contains a little bit more shifter arm, which goes here. This also comes with a optional spring, which could be interchangeable uh, with the current one that already comes pre-installed. And of course, this comes with hardware. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is assemble this unit. And you're gonna need a Allen wrench for that. But first impressions guys, this shifter already feels super smooth. It feels a little bit more fluent when uh, moving this arm. So now that we're done unboxing this part, let's go ahead, jump in the car, remove the V2 shifter and bring it out here and compare it to this one. Let's step inside my RSX and check out the previous generation which as you can see I do have and this shifter I've owned for about three to four years the only thing that I didn't encounter with it was a little bit of clearance issue right here which kind of rubbed on the type R console on the back here so what I did was trim a little bit of the inner part of right here of the console um, which was not a big deal pretty awesome shifter um, I kind of just left it stock to be honest with you just how it came out of the box I never adjusted any further um, and it's been awesome I've taken it to the track and all that I remember that most people were having issues with this piece right here becoming loose but to be honest with you I never ever had an issue I just torqued it down pretty good and that's it so now this shifter is coming off we're gonna be installing our v3 so i'm going to remove my center console you guys see me do that multiple times so what i'm gonna do is just speed through this whole process and then jump into the comparison <laughs> to the comparison that you guys been waiting for we have the v3 shifter and also the v2 and side by side you can actually see the size difference as you can see they went away with the ridged um, shaft right here which used to secure it within the locking mechanism here and it will prevent it from sliding over here they took a different approach and they went with a smooth design um, I'm gonna test this out and see how it grips and whatnot make sure the rod doesn't slide um, even when it's tight so let's see how that works but it almost seems like they did improve this locking mechanism which is going to bite down on this rod much better so we'll check that out another thing that i want to point out between these two shifters is that on the previous generation they had three adjustment points whereas the new one only has two 
Also taking a look at the V3, it does have a wishbone design. This generation, they used to have a lot of uh, you know springs, exterior springs in the side and also in the bottom, you know, kind of giving it its fluent motion. So as you can see right here when I'm moving it, I do get a spring motion. So it's kind of a little bit choppy and you can actually hear the springs. The weight difference is quite substantial. The new shifter is definitely lighter than the previous generation. You can actually feel it by just picking them up. So they retain the same hardware, but they also included this optional spring that you can swap out with the one that it's inside here already. Another difference to point out is that the plaque is on the side on the V2, whereas on the new generation, it's on the back of the shifter itself. Obviously, at first glance, there's a lot more going on in engineering, so we're not gonna be able to test that out by just looking at it, but also just throwing them in the car and testing them out to see how they compare. type of shifter yet this base actually sits a lot further in seems like it's a trending thing with this design of shifter um, this base sits a lot further in than any previous shifter or even your sock shifter what you need to do is either grab the cables and push them in to give it less slack and then it'll be able to line up with all your bolts so that's a quick tip that way you guys don't have any issues lining up the shifter at all so at first glimpse this shifter looks awesome it looks really nice and of course we just mounted it up and we install all our cables with the pins and all the spacers and whatnot the next part is actually um, upgrading the shifter here in this channel I like to do things big and what I'm gonna do is actually upgrade the shifter with some HR hybrid racing uh, accessories which are pretty awesome and I can't wait to show you so let's step out of the car and show you what those parts are so there you have it guys we have some titanium rods and also a titanium shift knob which is pretty amazing I've never seen any of these accessories firsthand so this is my st my first time checking them out and uh, first time taking it out of the box so first time ever owning any titanium parts so this is amazing <laughs> I can't wait to see this so let's start off with the the shifter rod and they're gonna have a bunch of sizes available so if you want a longer rod you can definitely check those out on my website and check this out man wow these are custom made boys every heat treatment is gonna be uh, different so every single one of you is gonna have a unique pattern and all that but check that out man this is very very light and beautiful let's put this on the side and open up the shift knob which is gonna be pretty freaking insane all right oh man this is nuts all right let's check this out what check this out boys this is gonna match my my interior so nicely <laughs> it is weighted it has some weight to it so that's beautiful and it does have the ti engraved into it which stands out for titanium of course 
Um, but man, oh man, let's close this box real quick. Take a closer look at this ship now. Oh man, check this thing out, boys. What a beautiful piece of art. So this is gonna screw on like this. And as you can see, the theme is gonna flow very nicely because it goes from blue to a lighter titanium in color and it goes back to blue in this end. So this is gonna be super nice with my blue Recaro interior and I can't wait to throw those on. So let's go ahead, jump into that part of the insulation. Check this out boys, the titanium rod is in and I lined up the TI engraved into the shift knob facing me. This looks amazing guys, it matches well with my interior. As you can see we have the blue Recaros, it's definitely an upgrade uh, versus the V2 shifter. They did quite an amazing job engineering this um, shifter because the V2 was a stepping stone on its own. So the V3 definitely had to outshine. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. This shifter is pretty amazing. It's definitely a nice update to the current or at least the previous V2 shifters. Can't wait to test it out on the track where it really matters and it should be super fun. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, make sure you write them down in the comment section. I'm gonna make sure I answer them. And also, if you wanna buy any of these parts, make sure you check out the links in the description or visit my website. Make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the support, it's awesome and uh, helps out the channel a lot. So make sure you do it. Thank you so much for watching and until the next one, peace.